Only on 12 News, cars slamming into homes and fires ripping through buildings, causing complete chaos. But what happens after the dust settles? Team 12's William Pitts joins us now with one man's unique job to help innocent people rebuild after disaster. Will? The last thing you want is for this to be your house. But what if it was? What do you do when the smoke clears and you have to deal with what's left? Two cars crash into a house in Glendale, one through the front door, another through the wall. Cops everywhere, Sky 12 above. But when everyone's left and the cars were gone, Brandon Kowalski was still there. And you know, once it's secure, people take that deep breath like, okay, Oh, now, now what? As in, what do I do with this hole in my house? Kowalski's company, 1-800-BOARD-UP, comes to help. And we advise the customers, and hopefully the insurance company is available at that time, and they can, you know, have a way to go and, and a place to go for the evening. Kowalski's guys are the ones who put up the plywood, secure it to the house, put a temporary patch on the hole, or at this place in Sun City West, keep people out of a burned-out house. I've met people from everything where a rock collection was the most important thing in their, their life, all the way up to, you know, the family heirloom. But after someone goes through it and they actually live it, it changes everything. Kowalski doesn't need to be here. He has guys for that, but he is here because he has lived it. We were sleeping upstairs, came downstairs, and the whole house was blacked out, just completely black. It was at midnight. She actually asked if I was burning toast. Once we had figured out what was going on, house was on fire. His house burned in 2011. Everyone was fine. He and his pregnant wife made it out. But standing on the sidewalk watching the smoke, he had no idea what to do next. For like three or four days later where I realized if I feel this way, what does everyone else feel like? That feeling, helplessness, it comes back with every fire he goes to. The minute I hit that smell, it is a it is burned into my brain. I always get little miniature flashbacks. Firefighters will tell you nothing else quite smells like a house on fire, a smoky, plasticky chemical smell. The smell and the feelings that come with it, seeing your home damaged or destroyed, can't be fixed with just some plywood. But that plywood is a little step, the first step toward fixing what's lost. In Sun City West, William Pitts, 12 News.